If you've been consistent in the gym for a period of time now, you may notice there are two main groups of people. Group 1 seems to have great progress and great physiques showing up and being consistent. And there's Group 2. They also show up consistently, but the results are lackluster. Would you really go to the gym if after two years you still look the same? Of course not. What a stupid question. No one would go. So how do we make sure we are in the first group and not the second? How do we make sure we see results? And make sure you watch the whole video so you don't keep spinning your wheels in the gym. On to the first point. The people in group 2 have not gotten their spiritual and mental health in order. You may be saying, John, I thought this was a fitness video. And it is. Just please listen. Changing your body is not only a physical process. It is also mental and spiritual. If you want to change your body, many things need to happen. If you're someone who drinks excessively on the weekend, you will not see as good as progress as you could have if you didn't drink and put the body under that amount of unneeded stress. If you're someone who has started exercising consistently but hasn't addressed their constant coping mechanism to indulge in food every time you're stressed, you won't change your body until these things are addressed. If you're in either of these two basic categories, and there are many, many more, you will not see progress. You won't see progress because you're consuming too many calories at the end of the day to cope with whatever you are dealing with leading to excess body fat. You're drinking or partaking in too many drugs to cover up some old wounds which inhibits your body's ability to recover. But what if you were able to get rid of these habits? What if you're able to heal your old wounds? The world would be your oyster. Sticking to simple routines would be so much easier, wouldn't it? But you need to do the work by educating yourself, doing some therapy, or doing some deep self-reflection on how your habits are self-sabotaging you. There are most likely mental blocks, like excessive drinking or coping with food that are keeping you from your real potential. Getting your mental health in order will make things easier to stick to follow routines and reject things that take you off your path. Now, I'm not saying all fit people have their mental and spiritual health in order. It's obvious the fitness industry is filled with eating disorders and inflated egos, but we are not trying to be like them. This channel's not trying to be like that. So if you want to see results in the gym and have a better life, I'm guarantee taking some time for deep exploration and examining your habits and seeing which ones take you closer to your goals and farther away from your goals will help you. Getting your brain in order will help you stay consistent, stick with a plan, and help you avoid old patterns that got you to where you are in the first place. Building muscle is not that complicated. Progressive overload, eat, and sleep, but our habits contradict the consistency that is needed with all three of these factors, and that's what holds us back. So point number two. Group two does most likely not follow the fundamentals. Literally what I just mentioned 10 seconds ago. Focusing on progressive overload, eating enough, and sleeping enough to recover. And subscribing to my YouTube channel so you get real honest advice. We get too bogged down in the stupidity of weightlifting online. What is the best meal time? Should I take creatine before or after my workout? What's the best bicep variations? I mean, at the end of the day, these are all real questions, but they really don't apply to you. You know why? Because you're not a professional and the amount of extra benefit questions like these will add to your lifting career is minimal. Over 90% of your games will come from progressively overloaded compound exercises, eating enough and in a surplus to build muscle, assuming you're not obese, and then sleeping enough to recover. Let the professionals worry about trivial things like preteen timing and meal timing. Just worry about showing up to the gym, eating and sleeping. Get really good at the fundamentals. Learn to track. I mentioned FitNotes before, a free gym app, and I just really like the interface, not sponsored. And also learn to track your calories religiously for a month or two for a month or two so you understand macros and the calories in your food. Also track how much sleep you're really getting. Get really good at these fundamentals and you won't have to worry about other smaller questions. Point number three. You haven't made fitness fun. It's still viewed as a chore. I have to go to the gym, I have to go on my run, I have to eat healthy foods. Your mindset is holding you back at the end of the day. What isn't fun about becoming stronger and seeing your lifts go up? What isn't fun about eating healthy foods and feeling a little better every single day? What isn't fun about running? Actually, I hate running, so skip that one. But why aren't you doing activities and making them fun so you look forward to doing them? You might not particularly like weightlifting. Maybe you really like calisthenic skills and calisthenics. Maybe you really enjoy yoga. If one of these things is fun to you, why are you not pursuing them more than something that can feel like a chore? It will be a lot easier to be consistent with. Because I told you you need a weightlift? Is that really the reason you need a weightlift? Just pick something, find a craft, and become good at it. And let's say weightlifting is your craft, I have a full body workout right here, and a free ebook down below that will give you everything to get started weightlifting if you want to make this your craft. I look forward to interacting with everyone in the comments. Peace.